What is this place? Welcome to the most secure cell in the entire complex. The darkest hole in Titania. Feel anything, Lafayette? Yeah. I think this is the Earth Pulse Point. If this cell is where the Earth Pulse Point is, then does that mean it housed Etherian? Yeah. And a real hungry one at that. Every day, they would toss demons into its cell. It would devour its fill, then wipe the blood from its lips. Never once realizing, it was delivering to Inominat the malevolence of hundreds of demons and prisoners. And then one day, there appeared before it a female Moloch, who shattered the barrier and freed the Therian from its cage. But the Therian knew no mercy, and it devoured its liberator. And it was then... It was then I obtained the power. The power to avenge my brother! Velvet... You're a Therian? This prison island was a feeding ground for the Therian, harnessing the malevolence created by the prisoners within. But because Velvet escaped, the malevolence went out of control. Wow, the same darn thing that happened back in Kamoana's village. Lord Artorius would never have done such a thing. No, what's so unbelievable? That he used his wife's brother as a human sacrifice? That he imprisoned his wife's sister? Because that's what your damned Holy Shepherd did! All to get his hands on Inominat's power! I'm sure he... he had a reason for... A reason?! To spare the world of its pain! Don't give me that! Who will spare my brother's pain? Who will soothe my brother's despair? He murdered my little brother Loppy! And you'll stand there and tell me it was for the greater good?! At any rate, that's one less Therian for us to track down. Velvet. What? Did Velvet yell at you so hard you're starting to hear voices now? I have a feeling something's wrong. Kamoana could be in danger. But we already beat the Headless Knight. I still can't shake this feeling. Please, let's go back and check on them. Velvet is Etherian, is she? I knew there was something off about her. But it's what she cried out that's really on my mind. Lafayette said, is Velvet truly Lord Artorius's younger sister? She never told me. If it were true, I suppose it would explain her knowledge of Lord Artorius's training. If you're so curious, why not ask her yourself? Hey Velvet, what's your connection to Artorius? Uh, Rokuro, have some tact! I heard you whispering. It doesn't bother me. Artorius was married to my late sister, Selica. He was our brother-in-law. We lived together for more than ten years. That does explain a few things. So he sacrificed his little brother and turned his sister into a Therian. But... you were his family. To his view of the grand scheme, family is inconsequential. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. All he did was act according to his ideal logic. <sighs> well, enough chit-chat. Let's get moving. <laughs> A 
Are we ready for this? So it turns out that Velvet is a Therian who consumes malevolence. And too much malevolence is what changes people into demons. Strong enough malevolence can persist after the person who created it dies, turning their corpse or spirit into a raging monster. That's how undead and phantom demons come about. Then the demons Velvet killed turned back into humans because she devoured their malevolence. Yeah, and consequently, they avoided becoming undead or anything like that. So she saved them. Well, I mean, a corpse is a corpse, of course, of course. Do you think she could devour only the malevolence and turn a living demon human again? Unfortunately, that's impossible due to malevolence's self-reinforcing nature. When Therians are connected to Enominot through an Earth Pulse point, they seem to be able to absorb small concentrations of malevolence from the surrounding area and inhibit the creation of new demons. But any human who builds up enough malevolence to turn into a demon will keep producing malevolence as long as they live. That's right. To devour any malevolence, I need to cut it off at the source. That's how my powers work. Velvet, I'm sorry. I don't mind it. Actually, I find it convenient. This way, I'll never forget my hatred for Artorias. Plus, as long as you stay away from an Earth Pulse point, you get to keep the power of any malevolence you consume. Fuel for my hatred, yes. Oh. <sighs>